Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dainty Seamstress. Thank you for joining me for another video. Today we will be unboxing Bratz doll Felicia from the Bratz Pack collection. So yesterday I went to Target and Target was having a really good online sale. But if you know, Target does price match. So if you go into the store and you see the dolls for a higher price and there's a cheaper price online, you can show them the price online and they will price match and you will be able to purchase them. Also, they have a really good sale on LOL dolls if you're interested in that. They're like $10. They, well, they were $10 yesterday, but today if you look, they may have them for it's buy one get one 50 percent off so i would check that off check that out if you are interested in those and then the brats dolls most of them are like 20 bucks for the singles like this but today we will be looking at felicia this is her box and her accessories and if i'm not mistaken these came out in like what 2000 maybe 2004 or 5 I didn't really check but I believe that's around the time when they came out but these are what I found to be a kind of simplified version so she doesn't have all the original stuff from back then she doesn't have her scarf and I also think she came with a um a hat but she doesn't have those things she just has this stuff which is really quite cute and it is very true to that fashion style during that time when I saw these little shoes, I was like, why did they put those in there? I don't really like them. But considering the time period and era, they're perfect for it. So this is what she looks like. I think she's really cute. She has some highlights. Let's check the back of the box and see what it says. So this is the back of the box. There's her art. So it says, hey, my name is Felicia. My friends call me Glam Gecko because I'm an outdoorsy gal who loves, who also loves to dress it up. So she's an outdoors lover, which is great. I'm an outdoor lover. So let's open her up. I'm going to start by cutting this tape on the side of the box because I believe that's how I opened it last time. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's how I opened it last time. Uh -oh. Okay. okay, so... The last few times I've opened the Brad's dolls, I don't think I showed the posters. So all of them come with free posters. So this is the poster that Felicia came with. So I believe this one is, um, I don't know her name, Yasmin <laughs> and Dana Kumi, I think this is. You can correct me if I'm wrong if you know. And this is Felicia. And it says the girls with a passion for fashion. So I have a few of these and maybe I'll try to make something cool with it. I'm not sure yet. But I have two. Well, I should have four so far. I have to find them and see what I deal with them. Hopefully I didn't throw one away. I'll have to go back and look and see what I did with them. So, when you open the box, it looks like this. And then, then we just peel her out like that. And then, they have a lot of rubber bands, and they're really good rubber bands. So, if you can try to save those, if you want to, like, restyle their hair, they're good for that. I'm going to try to salvage some of these rubber bands. I'm cutting all of the little tags out because there's a lot of that. And a lot of tape. Oh, 
now and my niece got her first lol tween doll yesterday she was so happy to see it she's been wanting and saying doll for the longest time and so her dad finally got her one and she was really excited about it so i i see her collecting those And they're just her size as well. But we did have to take some of the um, the little pieces. Because you know they come with a lot of little accessories. And that is a choking hazard. She's only um, one years old. So we took all of the shoes. And the little jewelry pieces and stuff like that. And I'm keeping them for her until she gets a little older. And then I'll be able to you know, give them to her. She'll know how not to put those types of things in her mouth. And stuff like that. So. We're going to be holding on to that stuff for her. So, there's these little things on the arms, the little plastic. But there's a little slit where you can wiggle the hand, the wrist out. And then, let's see, what else? So, she has these little... Oh, I'm all off camera. These little tags, I'm just going to pull them out. That's the best way to get them out. She's almost free. I'm just going to cut these little. I have to cut her hair. Cut those little things. Yeah, I'm cutting her hair. Okay. So she's almost out. Maybe I can do it. Yay! Oh, she's so cute. I'm so excited about this. So then next is just to cut all of the clothes free. It's her jacket. It's a little mini skirt. Little tank top. There's a brush. And then like I was saying, these rubber bands. I'm gonna try to well this isn't a rubber band. Oh, well, that came right out. So, this little paper can be good if you want to use this for something. I might keep that. Repurpose it. So, let me clean up this mess. And then, find this shoe I just dropped. Okay. So here is Felicia out of the box. Even though I pulled those tags from her head, they're still in there and that's so weird. But I'm not gonna bother it right now, I'll do it off camera. But isn't she gorgeous? So gorgeous, I love her skin tone, I love the hair color, look at the highlights. It's like a brown and the, um, like orange highlights the two little plaits the hair is so soft and i saw that you can actually curl this hair with a curling iron so i'm gonna be styling and doing some stuff with them but she has a very sheer makeup here underneath her eyebrow it looks like a taupe and dark brown eyeshadow with a metallic pink lip she has on a very decorative striped turtleneck and it looks like um back then they called these gaucho pants and uh their cargo the little pockets are so cute velcro in the back of the outfit and she has on these winter boots it is winter time so this is perfect she has winter boots on like kind of moccasin style with the lace up oh it, it looks like you can take the these the little fur warmers off so if you push them up you, she can just wear them like that if you want but i'm gonna keep the fur on so i'm just going oh you could you can push it up and that's a whole nother style i like this so that's the boots 
This is her outfit. And then I'm gonna push her back here so you can see. So she also came with these little wedged loafers, which I, I really don't like. <laughs> I don't like these, but I'm going to style them on her with this outfit and maybe make her something else to wear it with. But those are the shoes that she came with. And they have little holes on the bottoms for you to put her on a stand. I haven't got a stand yet. So I'm hoping one of the, you know, if I get another doll, maybe it'll have a stand or something. But she came with this little kind of cargo mini skirt. It's olive green and it has some neon orange stitching and a little belt here in a pocket. That's so cute. It's, it's functional, a functional pocket on both sides and some little studded detail. It's just silver, but I know that it's supposed to be like studded and has a little underwear on the inside. She also came with a knit fabric tank top it is ribbed with little ribbon straps and velcro in the back so that's pretty cute and then she also came this is my favorite piece this jacket it's like sheep i want to say sheepskin sheepskin jacket has a little silver buckle up here on the collar like a mandarin collar um with a princess style lines and some velcro in the front very cute very well made and it has some fur on the cuffs so cute i really really love this so let's change her into the next outfit so i'm gonna take her oh this is peeling really crazy but I mean, I guess that's to be expected. So let's see what I want to try first. I think I want to see what this, um, oh, she even has painted panties. Great. I'm going to put this skirt on her. Let's see what this looks like with this turtleneck shirt. Hopefully I don't have to untie this little thing to get this on her. <laughs> but I think I am going to have to, but I'm going to try not to have to. Let's see. We can get it up. Okay, it's going, it's going, it's going. Oh yeah, I like this look. I like this look. That's really cute. That's really cute. I like that. But not with these shoes. So, with the boots. That is really, really cute. Okay. So then... I'll put the tank top on her now. This is a really nice material for this shirt. It's really stretchy, but it's also kind of thick and it's also ribbed. Really nice. I like that material. It's kind of thick too. So I'm going to put this tank top on her. And that's what that looks like. That's cute too. Let me fix this Velcro on the back of this skirt to help that fit. That's cute, and I'm going to put the jacket on her with the skirt. Uh-oh. 
this seems like it's going to be a struggle to get her arm her hands through here so let me do this off camera and not come back okay so here she is with the jacket on with the skirt and the boots i love this jacket on her it's so 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 cute maybe i'll try to make like a trench version of this this is too cute if i could find a jacket like this in the thrift store i would wear it it's so adorable and so now i'm gonna put her original outfit back on and just put the little shoes on with it so let's see the little jacket was easy to put on her once i wiggled the hands through of course one thing i like about these dolls is that you really can't do much with damaging them maybe you could like break the arm off but as far as like bending them and stuff yeah i love it so oh you know what actually i'm gonna put the shoes on with this let's just let's just see what that looks like and that's what it looks like uh-uh. I don't like it. <laughs> Not one bit do I like it. So. And so one thing that I did figure out, again, that bread dolls can fit LOL clothes and the Blythe dolls can fit some of the LOL doll clothing. So that's a really cool thing to know. That if you buy certain dolls or if you collect all of those types of dolls, they can all wear some of the same clothes. Now some stuff may be tighter and some stuff might be too big for them to wear, but try it and see. And some of the Barbies can fit black doll clothes. Um, that's a cool thing because a lot of people collect Barbie. I don't think a whole lot of people collect black dolls. So. But I'm really happy to own Felicia. She's very, very pretty. And... okay this is all right the, because the shoes match the pants it's okay i'm okay with this i would have liked her to come with like a purse or something but she didn't she did come with a little brush to brush her hair but that's what she looks like with this and i can't put the jacket on her with the long sleeve but i can put it like on her like that and she doesn't have any ear holes. Some of the dolls do have ear holes, but she doesn't, which is okay. So again, this is Felicia. And that is going to be all for this unboxing. Thank you for joining me. You can comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the very next video. Have a wonderful start to your new week. And God bless.